Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm JC and today I wanted to talk to you about self-care. Now, I know we all have our reward systems planned out for Nano and it's good to reward yourself with things. I, I personally have a few rewards myself, a couple books I want to buy for achieving um, my 25k goal um, and I want to buy some things off the Nano site for winning hopefully but um far too often we have treated and i include myself in this because i have done it too um it's only been this past year where i stopped doing that but far too often we writers or creative types tend to include self-care as a reward you know we accomplish one thing we get to reward ourselves with taking care of ourselves and i was reminded by a fellow author to her um, about a week ago, uh, maybe a week and a half ago, on one of her live streams, Sako to me, she said self-care should not be a reward. It should be something that we do daily, or if not daily, at least on a regular enough basis, and not because we accomplished something or achieved a goal or finished a task, but just because we are supposed to take care of ourselves. Um, we are better served and our creativity and our work is better served if we are taking care of ourselves. We can't take care of everyone else or our work if we don't take care of us. So I thought of a few ways because I know it's hard when you're trying to do 50 million things towards your career and towards your goals to sometimes find those little moments where you can implement self-care. So I just have a few of mine. And hopefully if they work for you, you could try some of those too. Or you may find another aspect of self-care that works for you, but I'm just giving you mine because I can only speak from what I know and do. So, um, number one, um, some form of exercise. Um, or if you are the outdoorsy type who likes stuff like hiking and walking outside, that. Um, I... I'm not an outdoor person, but I have been trying to get back to working out and getting back on track with my workout. So I do work out in the morning. I do walk with Leslie on YouTube. Um, I'm on the one mile walk right now, and I've only just been able to complete the entire mile, the entire video. So yay. But um, I'm trying to be smart about getting back into working out because, you know, I have a a lot of old injuries that seem to stir up when I go a little too hard in my workouts. So trying to ease back into things. But another thing that I wanted, that I um, just started doing this week is to, um, I, it's a five minute bedtime yoga, yoga with Adrian. And it's something to do at night. It's a few stretches and it's just a little, way to take care of myself in the evening after I've been sitting in this chair at this desk all day and it's a good way to you know keep those muscles active and further get me back into the habit and get my work out back on track so it's one thing number two is to do a foot soak or foot massage I have a foot massager but sometimes I like to soak my feet in the tub but if I want the massage mechanism I have a foot massager it's wonderful um I actually need to pull it out um maybe this week this week is almost over but um yeah a good foot massage never underestimate a good foot massage um I mean if you have someone at home that can massage your feet for you that works too but if you don't a good foot soak in the tub or foot massage works wonders for the entire body I'm telling you if you don't do it often enough you should really try number three if you um if you don't watch a lot of tv normally take an hour or two after you've finished all your work and accomplished all your goals and watch watch a movie or watch a couple of episodes of a show you've been wanting to catch up on. Um, just take that, that time for you. It also restores some of the creativity because, you know, at least for me, watching TV inspires me. 
a lot. So yeah, um, because I've, I've, I used to watch a ton of TV. Um, it's probably why I wasn't getting the writing I needed to be getting done completed. But you know, I've done a really good job this year of not watching a lot of TV. I mean, the TV's on all day because I need noise in the background. So it's on the news. So I can also keep up with what's going on in the world. But, um, so at night when I'm finished, I take an hour or two, maybe three, given how late I stay up, it's probably more like three or four, but whatever. <laughs> and I watch either some court TV shows cause that's my little, it's not my guilty pleasure. Or I may watch a movie or I watch a couple of episodes that I'm of a show that I'm behind on. There are a lot of shows I'm behind on. So I have a lot of catching up to do. So that's one thing. Number four, play an hour or two of a video game that you like. Um, just to wind down the evening. For me, I know for most people they have the PlayStation and they play, you know, Call of Duty or Battlefield or I don't even know the other names of the games, but you know, I'm a Nintendo girl. We, we, you, that kind of thing. Mario would probably be more my, my speed. But if y'all know me by now, if you're not new here, then you already know Candy Crush and Subway Surfers is my game of choice in the evening. My little games on my phone. It relaxes me. I can't explain it. It just really relaxes me. So, you know, pick a game take an hour or two to play a couple of games and enjoy yourself and um hopefully it relaxes you as much as it relaxes me number five just listen to some music and uh, i mean if you're a drinker probably drink wine and listen to some music I'm, i don't drink so um i know a lot of people listen to music while they write I am one of those people who cannot listen to music while they write because I'll end up singing along with the songs that I'm listening to and no writing will ever get done. Only way, only exception is if a new album, usually Taylor Swift, comes out and I don't know any of the tracks on the album, therefore I can't sing along with it. That's the only time I really can listen to some music while I write. But other than that, um, and I love music, so sometimes I miss listening to music but I just, I don't get any writing done when I listen to music with the words and that I know to songs that I love. So I just don't, but sometimes I like to chill out and take an hour or two and just play a whole bunch of random songs, old songs, songs that I've missed, songs that I maybe haven't heard or haven't heard in a very, very, very long time. Oldies, but goodies, all kinds of things. And just kind of listen to music for about an hour or two and it oh, just makes me, I just love it. It makes me feel so much better. But so those are five things that you could do to, you know, just tune into you and what relaxes you, what makes you feel joyful, what makes you feel happy, what motivates you or inspires you. And, you know, that helps you take care of yourself. Because once again, as I said in the beginning, if you cannot, you can't take care of other people and your work and be fully, you know, present in your work with if you're not taking care of yourself. So find little ways, I'm sure you can find at least one of these things or whatever little thing that works for you that you can do each night if maybe if each night, every other night, but let's make self care a daily thing, something that we do, something that's not just a reward or something that we only do once in a blue moon. Let's make self care a thing, thing that we, that's normalized, that it's normal for us. Cause um, I think it's also a really good way to take care of your mental health. So that's going to be it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more videos from me, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what are some forms of self-care that work for you. Um, maybe it's something I could try out and add to my list. But yeah, let me know. Till next time, have a blessed day. Bye.